soil particles in a soil mass experience a weight of everything above them which includes weight of all the soil particles above them weight of water and weight of structure if present and because of that soil particles experience stress in between each other which we call total stress but if we put the soil mass in water then because of buoyancy force the net total downward force is reduced consequently the stress on the particles is reduced this reduced stress is called effective stress the stress exerted by the water present in the soil pores is called pore water pressure we can write expression for effective stress as total stress minus pore water pressure effective stress is different at different depths below the ground surface because total stress and pore water pressure are changes at different depths we have already discussed the effect of variation of water table on the effective stress link to that video is in the description we know that stress at any point or plane under the soil can be given as force on that plane divided by the area of that plane force on that plane is the weight of soil above the plane and that is a unit weight of soil multiplied by its volume volume is area multiplied by the height of the soil mass this can be simplified to this so we can directly write the stress under any material as unit weight of the material multiplied by the height of the material above that point here we will consider a case where a soil mass which consists of two soil deposits of bulk unit weight gamma 1 and gamma 2 of thickness h1 and h2 respectively is subjected to a surcharge surcharge is the additional load on the soil which may be created due to any overlying structure or any moving object let us assume that soil is subjected to a surcharge of intensity q per unit area water table lies somewhere inside the bottom soil deposit because of the water table soil becomes completely saturated and unit weight of soil becomes a gamma set 2. We will try to determine the effective stress at different depths. Notice that surcharge load is given as force per unit area which is equivalent to pressure or stress. So it can be directly used in the equations to provide stress at any depth. Let's begin with the soil surface. Total stress on the surface of the soil is because of surcharge only. So, total stress is equal to the surcharge Q. No water is present above this plane, so pore water pressure is zero. Hence, effective stress which is total stress minus pore water pressure is Q, the surcharge load. Now move a little downward and calculate the effective stress at this plane where two soils meet each other. We can also take this plane anywhere in this soil layer but result will be similar and only depth of the observation will change. Total stress at this plane is surcharge load Q plus stress due to weight of this much soil layer gamma 1 H 1. No water is present above this plane so pore water pressure is zero again effective stress is equal to the total stress now let us calculate the effective stress on the plane at the bottom of the bottom soil deposit total stress at this plane is surcharge stress q plus stress because of this much not saturated soil layer gamma 1 h 1 plus stress because of this unsaturated part of lower soil deposit of thickness say h2 prime gamma 2 h2 prime plus stress due to this much saturated soil let's say of thickness h2 double prime gamma set 2 h2 double prime pore water pressure at this plane is because of this water present above it gamma w h2 double prime 
Hence, effective stress is total stress minus pore water pressure. And here we can write this quantity as submerged unit weight of soil. We can notice in all our calculations for effective stress at different depths, because of the surcharge load, effective stress increased by the surcharge load Q at all depths. If you like elementary engineering videos, you may support it on Patreon. You may also choose to write down daily learnings or express your creative self in Eel's homemade diaries. Buy them at Professor or Amazon. Link is in the description. Read Effect of Surcharge on Effective Stress on elementaryengineeringlibrary.com. Link can be found in the description. Thank you.